Well, we are back at the back of my van because we're loading up again to go to Canmore for the Canada Cup C1. We spent all day yesterday doing bike park laps with the bear squad. Now the anthem's back on the Kuat dirt bag mount and we're gonna get her on in oh, there. Yeah. What a work. Oh, except for that. Work of art, except for that. Work of art. I'm realizing I could elaborate on what I have packed in here. For those of you who are curious, toolbox full of tools, extension cord, plug my van in or my power washer, pump, work stand, bag full of spare tires, bike wash stuff, race wheels, spare wheels, drawers full of spare parts. I try and bring everything I might need, chain, grips, chain ring, all the other things that could possibly break, I try and have with me. In other news, you may remember I broke my chakras in a mosh pit, and I have acquired the world's most perfect chacos to replace them. Pit stop. We're gonna go try and get across the border. We'll see. Dax is kind of sus. Let's do it. We got snow on the ground. We're like, we're still five hours away. Dax, how are you feeling about snow on the ground five hours south of where we're going? Not awesome. Not ideal. <laughs> All right, we made it to Eureka. We've seen lots of Tour Divide riders. There's yep. some bear bum sleeping in that van over there. Woo. All right. White for pla wafers plastic surgery, I'm good to know. But also, we're almost the Canadian border. Let's get it. Oh, we're mobbing. Oh, we've got a bridge. Robbie's, Robbie has a phobia of bridges. Also, me too. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Woo. We are in, I don't know, what national park are we in? Jasper. Kootenay. Kootenay National Park. So we made it to Banff. I mean, it's all right, I guess. How many bears have we seen in the past five minutes since we got here? Two. Uh, and we're about to go, f another bear, there's another one right up here. So we're gonna go find it from a safe distance. Maybe. So yeah, found found some found some okay mountains here. Got the squad. Recovery spin dinner. We're gonna get back to the Holly Inn Express where we're staying. They're staying inside. I'm staying outside in the van. Dax, what did you what did you, you order? Rice. What did you say? Verizon. Extra rice. <laughs> Extra rice. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible views. Good morning from Canmore. I slept like 11 hours in my van. We're making some egg soup for the boys. I'm the one living in a van, but I'm also the only one who can cook. So I've got these squatters out here needing to be fed. <laughs> Terrible place for a morning spin, eh boys? Just horrible, ah, almost crashed us. All right, Braden, we're here. Getting ready for the world's most technical short track. What are you thinking? What's the vibe? Uh, it's really gnarly, so I'm gonna put on my, my downhill tires. Um, I'm honestly quite nervous. <laughs> Clearly. Go full gas. A lot of performance anxiety today. And they are all elite men. Yeah, Caleb, move up. Yeah, Caleb. Come on, buddy. Stay on that wheel. You got it. He's looking snappier now. I've cooled down in worse places. Yeah, that's, that's not too shabby. I think I was 11th or 12th. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Wasn't the top five or 10. Yeah. I say it doesn't matter because just barely missed the move with the front group. And then I caught off no man's land. Um, but I won the field sprint. So that's something to feel good about. Um, got the hiccups. Form was definitely there. To be riding in that front group, just burned my matches at the wrong times and missed the group. Nothing else to it. Gotta race smarter. 
This has got to be the most scenic vlog yet. It's all about the scenery. I race bikes to go outside and train to be outside and getting faster. And competing is just a just a bonus of getting to work and play outside all day. That's really all I wanted. I don't I don't know if you all did those little like career pathways like job finding things when you were in school, but yeah, mine basically said I was either gonna be like a janitor, a professional athlete, or like a logger. Lumberjack, lumberjack, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, meaning that I needed to do a job where I was not seated and outside and active. Um, otherwise, I'd go insane. Probably because I have rampant ADHD. And then sprint. Jack's hitting the crack. Big crack. Oh, oh, that, wasn't oh. that wasn't too sweet. That was Rob, what's the course vibe? Uh, like a shit. <laughs> Is it? I don't know about that. I oh, know it's in there now. I think it's Hero Dirt, but go off. See that right there? Yeah, there. This isn't even the cars. <laughs> Jack, give us a course report. <laughs> this is dialed. We got a little bit of grease. Overall, though, it run great. Oh, yeah. And it's gonna pour. We brought the Englewood burgers all the way up here to Canada. This will come in handy for bears or if I start to get dropped. We can just. It is race day look at that four gels four bottles some drink mix repair tools garmin you got it and obviously more coffee gotta be caffeinated let's go let's go toby let's go dax let's go ivan yeah ivan yeah caleb go caleb let's go caleb keep it up You're doing great, buddy. Stick with it. You got it. Get on those wheels. Go, Caleb! Let's go, Kobe. Go catch him. Yeah, Caleb! I finished up 17th, um, a little underwhelming. I think I was definitely capable of quite a bit more of that, but just not my best day out. Still fought for it, still had some fun. It's great to have my mom and sister and they're cheering along with all the bear folks. Um, that's about it, yeah. Just a little, punched a little under my weight, I think, but we'll get them next time. Pizza acquired, ice cream on tap. Carson's neck is sunburned to hell. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's it. Canmore Canada Cup vlog done. Um, now, rest week, followed by some serious volume bikepacking adventure training. Stay tuned. We're going to do some really cool stuff. Um, yeah. That was a terrible wink. I don't care. Vlog over.